Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. For Ten more minutes of wire untangling action. <laughs> okay, actually, I got a lot done. It don't look like it, but I have. I got a lot of wires hit already. But man, we ain't even got to no radio yet. That's just gear, gear doors, and turbine. <laughs> I ain't started on the radio. <laughs> But that's all right, man. We're going to get this handled. And it's going to look pretty. But I made a decision. I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, fuel pumps up here in this cheeks. Okay? There's a ton of room up there. A ton of room. And uh, if I put them all the way up in the nose, okay, these are going. To, it's going to unplug way up here in the middle. Where's the wire at? You know, it's going to, and it's just like barely going to be long enough, so anyone, it's, you know, if I ever have to change the pump or to undo it, I'm going to have to take the nose off of it anyway. And up here in the tank, up here in these cheeks, they're going to be still plenty close enough. I'm only backing them up a couple inches. We're not talking about that much weight difference, and it's just going to make it easier, you know, and it'll look better too. But that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Them turbine tank can never come out of this airplane. <laughs> I do have to take the nose off. What I'll do, if that ever happens, if I have to take the nose off this airplane, what I'll do is I'll just cut all these airlines and put quick disconnects on them <laughs> when I put them back together. That way I could take the nose off. And the extension cords are going to be just this far in. So it won't be too, you know, to unplug them from the receiver to get the nose off. The only thing would be all these airlines. But with disconnects on them, it wouldn't be that bad at all to take the nose off. Someone was asking how that was fastened on there. It's just bolted. The nose is just bolted on there. Okay, but what I'm doing is I'm making some plates for my uh, fuel pump. And I take me some plywood and I cut it on a 45 like that. I will use this with fuel pumps or jet cats and everything, man. It works great. Got about three-eighths of an inch apart. About a half inch more than a quarter. Little kicker, bam. Okay. Then we need to put one of these, and these smaller ones for these cylinders, I just cut the corner off some stock. Take the old drill bit here. We'll drill in around here. Slide even with the wood. I'll 
plywood on the bottom. See if I soak. Go in here and do the same thing. Just going to put a little extension cord on them. 